Good evening, good people. How are you all doing? Today's episode is going to be about a powerhouse, but sort of like not all the way. It's a very nice um, green soapy fragrance. And it's one of the fragrance that I really love from the powerhouse type, right? So I, I don't have the box here with me because the box is somewhere there because I took out all my bottles from the boxes because I can reach out for them. They're all here. This side, this side. All right. All my 200 some bottles. So I have for you from the house of Van Cleef and Arpels. This is a beautiful, amazing fragrance. Not many people have experienced or know about, I think. So I'll just talk about it. This is Sar. You know, look at that bottle. Gorgeous green bottle. It's a green bottle. You can see if you put it against the light. You can see in the hand. Oh, God. How do I put this? Yeah, it's sort of like green. Okay. So it's inside. It's green. It's nice. Beautiful bottle. I'll talk about it. And this is sort of like exactly the same bottle design as the other one that I showed you a few months ago, I think. The Van Cleef and Arpels Puram. So this is my third bottle from the house. I also have happened to have Midnight in Paris, my amazing looking bottle. So thing is, Van Cleef and Arpels actually, just like Bulgari, they are like an ornaments house. So they do, what they do is they, they put extraordinary, beautiful bottles for both ladies and gents for perfumes. And for the men's line, I think they have a few new, one, new ones like New York. I would like to try that, but Midnight in Paris is just ever, ever classic. You know, like it's it's gonna be there always in in the history of perfumery. All right. So I'll t I talked about this also. I have it actually right in my right hand. It's basically winter fragrance, but I like to test them sometimes. So today I felt like it's a Van Cleef and Arpels day, and I have this hand. I have my Sar. So before I start, just one thing I need to clarify. Mm, so far in our Good Smellers Bangladesh group. We have three videos popped up for the contest as you guys know i am giving away three tenemal decans and also one brother decided he, he wants to give away hugo by hugo tenemal also so you get basically four tenemal juice all right tenemal that's a, that's a very good deal by the way and you can try new fragrances so do join good smellers bangladesh if you're in bangladesh if you're a bangladeshi or even a foreigner no problem but you have to reside in Bangladesh within okay so at first I said it's for open to Bangladesh and I thought like it's not fair anyone lives in Bangladesh can do it okay so that you can do for five minutes onwards as long as much as you want to talk it has to be fragrance related so those by those who are interested I extended the time I thought on the first of July I'll say okay this is the poll for all the names and I'll let the group members decide which is the best video the thing is excuse me no, sorry got busy with something okay what you have to do is you have to submit the video by 7th of july extend the time a little bit because people are away for the eid holidays and stuff so you know you, you have a little bit more time so you basically have one week plus so you can shoot your video post it in the group you can do it also in your youtube channel if you have any you can post the link either way it's working okay it can be in english bengali anything either language all right so yeah that's on so yeah Keep me posted and keep those videos coming awesome work guys all right so yes coming to this fragrance this is uh, sort of like a powerhouse category that's where it falls because i have a lot of powerhouses and i do use them i think during the winter time and more in the cooler nights daytime i hardly wear powerhouses in the summer it's a very bad idea all right so <laughs> i look like tintin <laughs> with the haircut yeah i got rid of all my hair it's just bothering me all right Coming back to this, this fragrance actually it's a very underrated juice. This has been form reformulated. The older one used to look like a shorter and a bit fatter, a bit uglier bottle, but I think that juice was a bit more up, uh, amped up with the oak moss. So that was a bit more potent and longer lasting. I think that's what I heard. But the thing is, guys, today's time, you know, we, we, we are not being able to find any bottles that is old. Like, let's say you cannot find a bottle that is 10 years old. It's normal, right? Imagine like a, like a, body soap or something you've been using for 10 years and you, you don't expect it to last that long right so if someone let's say like an old scotch or whiskey that's a different different case but for perfumes also sort of like okay but most of the time they go bad if you're extremely lucky they can stay okay but for me i'm not say very big on the vintage unless i can get it readily available or with little effort so for me whatever is available i talk about it and i try to give you my honest take so that's what basically this is this is not that that very rare to find but it's not very common in every shop. So Van Cleef and Arpels, it's hard to find. So for this 100ml bottle, you have to pay around $30, 
a little bit more around the 30 35 dollars not very expensive <coughs> excuse me and this one comes in this beautiful uh, it's it's box is also like a Van Cleef and Arposporum, but this one is in green and black pattern all right all right you can see the cap actually has some pattern it's not all green or black it says some green and then you know it's a, it's a very nice combination black and green sort of like your foresty mossy rainy that's what kind of uh, that's the kind of uh, a feel it's supposed to give you all right and it reminds me of another fragrance that i have this one bang uh, pakuraban purum they are very they have a lot of similarities one of my subscribers talked about this fragrance that i did in the malaysia outdoors the review was very short so i want to do an extensive review on this very soon uh, i'll keep the request so this one the price is there okay the sizes i think you can find smaller bottle i'm not sure 50 ml or not and the newer bottles are like this okay it says sar sar basically means like it's the name from russian you know like sar you know like a, maybe army general or something or the state head something like that so maybe referring to that i'm not quite sure you can watch fragrance mats or lex alice's review on this all right and lex alice loves this stuff <laughs> it's a sar van cliff and arpels the sprayer is here built in never try to take it off which is the case with the other bottle my friend did who owned that bottle originally and he took it off it's already built in spray okay just like your other powerhouses the back is like this it's very simplistic sort of like a um skyscraper kind of a thing i like that you know it's like a thin the side green you can see the juice moving yeah and the spray is all right shoots out a lot of juice it's like good distribution if you go all the way nice distribution very aromatic so for the presentation i have no complaints people find it a little bit you know this kind of bottles people find it like a uh, bit old school classic i like i like this kind of sprayer you don't have to take out the cap saves you a little bit fraction of seconds so this fragrance what is it all about this actually it's a uh, very similar to some people say live jazz by ysl i smell live jazz and jazz long time back in malaysia and then long time ago it i don't have good memories of it but i feel like it's a bit more mature it's not for everyone this fragrance is not for everyone this is these and these both the puram and the sar even the other ones the powerhouses it's a bit for mature noses not necessarily by age but if you have a mature nose if you have a mature personality and you are always trying to be a bit more serious that kind of people can like this very manly it has the clean side of it it's a green it has the, some mossiness it has a few elements so first of all it's a bit mature scent okay it's not a very playful but it's a very <clears throat> up class both these are very up class scents from all the powerhouses what i really feel these are a bit more little bit more classy because other ones are a bit harsh in the opening the dry down it's nice but you have to wait for it but these fragrances these babies right from the word go they are very classy you don't get much synthetic vibe from them very natural very high class smelling juice and a little bit class above than the rest of the powerhouses okay like kuros yes kuros is a little bit up class also but when you talk about ted lapidus or let's say this one one man show these are compared to these these the other ones one man show line a little bit harsh so this is bit has the bit green feel i didn't talk I'm, i didn't take notes for the notes from fragrantic i'm just telling you how it smells so up on the initial spray you're gonna smell like very masculine very clean green mossy and a uh, very aromatic scent okay that's your top note and i think due to the reformulation thanks to reformulation the oak moss in it is gone that's the big difference between the old one and this one but given that many fragrances lost their appeal right this one this one didn't this one still is pretty damn nice i will, i'm pretty sure many people comment below here that this is one of the favorite scents this one would be excellent on a rainy day i know i think it's a bit more on the cooler weather scent night time but i think this one can be pulled in the summer days so it has that little bit of it has that background that original puram van cleef and arpels which has a little bit similarity it has hint of this one has hint of this one at the background but i get that very fresh you know like out of the shower if i don't know if migler cologne is in the same category but no i don't think so but some green notes to it like a pine or like a forest it just rained and the big leaves you know after the rain the leaves have their own smell this one feels like the foresty wet smell okay and that bit of that mossiness and very calm right after the rain very relaxing that sort of a scent bit of barbershop feel but more on the fresher side so less powdery more green and the dry down how it goes okay let me let me spray it once more not for the dry down just for the opening 
it has a wide distribution. Yeah, the opening is absolutely beautiful. This smells like very expensive fragrance. It doesn't smell cheap or generic. That's another thing is great about SAR. So it's for those class 35, 40 people like, you know, that uh, age range, they will appreciate this. So it's somewhere between your heavy barbershop and then very green sort of, uh, I don't know. It has the feel of this other one, bit of the Aspen by Cody, but not the lavender. It's just the green side of that piney note. I think that's what I get. And then it's just, it's just very manly. I really like that about this and it's very unique. You don't didn't smell so many fragrances that smells like this and the good side. Longevity from this, it's it's not really a beast mode fragrance. From my uh, experimentation, the Puram, this one lasts eight hours easily on me. Even on the summer days, I get good six to seven hours. This one lasts comparatively less. I get three to maximum four hours. So for summer days, if, you, if you're going out at night, if it's rainy a little bit, and it's a bit cloudy, it's gonna last you maybe five hours to five and a half. So you need how many sprays with this? You can go a little bit more. The Puram, you just need one to two sprays of this, not more. This is very strong with the black leather note, very up class. This one you can spray easily because it's a bit lighter, a bit more watery, a bit more transparent, okay? But if you're a green scent lover, like for example, these two I said are similar, right? But this one, the opening is very harsh, very synthetic, very harsh. And you might hate this fragrance just because how, how strong it smells on top. But the dry down, it's just absolute magic. The vanilla is there, oh my God. It's just amazing powerhouse and barbershop fragrance. Really blast from the past. I love this. This is one of my signature scents. So compared to this, this one lasts a little bit more. All right. <clears throat> but the same quality. And the smell of this, a little bit of the green side in this. So imagine those scents, if you like those kind of scents. And you want to wear something a bit masculine, a bit more. You don't talk that much. You are a professional person. And you like to attend your work. You have your own style. You have your own ways. You know, you are just stay by yourself, do your work. Yep. What what else would be good for? I think if you're that man, I think it will work in the gym. Yeah, I know it's a bit more up class, but you know, you, if you wear this little bit barbershop, it's not too spicy, by the way. It doesn't burn your skin. You don't get your nose burned with this, which is case for many other barbershop scents. You don't get that. So if you imagine like enter the gym and it's a shared gym, like both ladies and men, I think people really have less respect for you. But I think it's a bit more suited up, sort of a scent. Sports, I don't see it. If you are going for sports with this, it doesn't work. Business meetings, yes, I see. Uh, if you're going to university or Harvard or Cambridge, yeah, those genius kids with little bit suit, you want a little bit more attention, not the cheap thrills. You want to be a bit more sophisticated. Elderly gentleman feel, yes, this is sour. Very different, very unique. Not everybody's cup of tea. I'm pretty sure this is like compared if I... Let's say compare this with Naughty or Voyage. This one will take down this one by far. But that's your crowd pleaser scent, Naughty or Voyage. That's an easy scent. This is a bit more on the daring side, even though it's safer. But it's, it, little, it takes a little bit more mature nose. After trying a lot of other fragrances, you can appreciate this. So for longevity, I'll give this, it's like 7 out of 10. Let's be nice. Projection. Uh... It, 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 for the first hour, it projects really nicely. If someone's around you, they can smell you. This one projection is way better, by the way. This one, let's say 7.5 for the initial hour, then it comes close to your skin. Smell of it, many people get the green soapy feel. Imagine a green soap, you know, it's clean, but at the same time, it's green. So they get that. I also get that sometimes. It has a very high, qual high class, that soapy scent. For the smell, I really love the smell. 8 out of 10. Um, uniqueness. Yes, it, it, on its own terms, it's very unique, but there are fragrances, Live Jazz, you know, Pakuraban Puram, the Aspen, a lot of green scents are out there, but those are a little bit in one category. This one is little upper class. That's where I find the uniqueness. It's still there. So overall remark for this fragrance, it's by personal, if you ask more a personal review, personal view, I'll give this 8.5 overall scent. But for people out there, you know, like if you're who are looking to buy this, I will not say this is a safe blind buy, never blind buy this. Definitely try it, it might work for you. For colder weather, like springtime, I think it's very nice. Outdoors, it will be also good. If you, let's say, going for like camping, yeah, you can take this. With the forest, it will go very nicely with it, even though a bit formal, but I think it will go nicely. So overall remark, I'm gonna give this 
7.5 out of 10 for all the people out there give it a try uh, it's not it's not mind blowing it's not very overstated but sometimes the performance is not the only category sometimes the feel of a fragrance also is important so yeah sar gets that 7.5 out of 10 for my review take care guys do let me know how much you like this fragrance if you ever used it what's your remark on it take care have a good night bye bye